Hey guys, uh, today we're in my uh, CAD room where I uh, where my machines reside and just hum away here all day, not disturbing anybody. Uh, Temperature is pretty stable in here. Um, today I wanted to bring you a presentation on these um, my copper clad uh, PC board uh, heat plates. I call them a super surface and uh, what I did was I started out with a, just a regular PC board uh, about six months ago and I had uh, I had tried it on my machine but I noticed if um, the electroplate usually on those PC boards they electroplate the copper on them and I had a special order run of these with uh, thicker um, copper on them and I've been trying them now uh, since then it's been about I'd say about five months now uh, since I've had these on and we do a lot of production parts we actually make all the parts for our own kits right here in house and we'll uh, fill up, I have two uh, Creality, one's a 300 and one's a 5S, and they run all the time, day and night, and uh, these plates have just performed admirably. They are, um, they heat up faster. For one thing, my S5 had, 5S, had a, <coughs> a piece of glass on it, and they come with a 300 by 300 heater underneath a 500 by 500 uh, plate. So it really, it took um, over 14 minutes, I think 14 and a half minutes on the average for the bed to heat up from cold, uh, from cold. And what, when I put the copper on, what I noticed right away was it heats up in about uh, eight minutes now. So it cut that time almost, in, almost exactly in half. And the performance of the uh, taking my parts off is phenomenal. Um, I don't have any uh, problems with sticking or releasing, I do use hairspray. If I don't use the hairspray, I run a risk of the part coming off. But um, since I've been just just a little spritz of hairspray right where the, the part is, uh, let me digress for a second. I'll coat the whole thing with a thin coat of hairspray while it's off the bed, and then I'll bring it in. I've only done this twice and cleaned the plate and brought it back in again. And uh, then I'll just spritz it in the spot where the print is going to be. Um, the advantage of this is that it, because it heats up faster, it cuts a lot of the uh, prep time. But the real advantage is it weighs about a quarter. I'm going to actually take this out to the scale and we'll get a real, I estimate about a quarter. But we're actually going to put this up against the glass and, uh, and see what the weight difference is. This is the part of the problem with the gantry shaking, setting up that um, that resonance in the gantry that makes it vibrate and in your higher prints especially, but your lower prints also, uh, makes them uh, ring. You get the ringing ridges in your, in your pieces. Uh, so we're going to put these up against each other. I just uh, finished a print on my 300, so we're going to take it off a hot plate over here. This has been sitting, this one printed last night, I'm going to take it off a cold plate. So we're going to start out by, uh, on the 5S, we're going to take it off the cold plate. And let me focus the camera for you, so you can see that. Let's zoom in on it a little bit. Sorry about the shaky. Okay, this is just the way it came off here. Um, this is my Stinger uh, bed leveling system, and I put in the end uh, G code. It, I put in what I call a present. The bed comes out and it presents itself to you, so you don't have to pull it out afterwards. So we're going to pull this off. I just want you to see. That's the, that was the cracking noise. That was the supports here that came off. And you can see how cleanly it released right here. Okay, and everybody sees this. I'm going to pull in on that. You can see the bed on the right hand side of my LCD. You see the bed is 60 degrees. It's just finished up printing. And we're going to pull in on this. Okay, so you can see what this is like pulling it off a hot bed. That's a hot bed it just came off of. Here's that peel. It just peels right off. This is every time it works like that. This isn't staged or anything. Um, this is really a wonderful bed. 
Um, this one I won't pad on here for about two weeks. You'll see it's not all gouged up or anything. Just how easy that cleans off. You just kind of dust it off with your fingernail. Uh, this is great stuff, guys. And uh, as a contrast to that, we're going to go back to this one. I want everybody to see there's no smoke and mirrors or anything here. Uh, this is what the bed looks like after six months of use of heavy production. Uh, some of these uh, were when I got it at first, um, my sweaty arm, you can see an arm print right there in the hand, back of my hand print. Um, when I got this, I um, got it some body acids on it and it did tarnish it a little bit, but I've learned since then before I put one of these beds in operation, I'll give it that light coat of hairspray and what that does is it's like a clear uh, lacquer or something. What it does is it'll protect the bed from tarnishing. So it leaves a real nice finish on here. Um, I can't say enough about these. I don't know why everybody's not using these. Uh, I see these plastic beds out here. and uh, Plastic's basically a good insulator, so um, you'll insulate your bed. And uh, maybe on the 300 they'd work good. On the 500 we need that. We need that heat to go real fast on here. So um, there it is, guys. There's your bed. Uh, you see some little scuffs. Here's what I use. If it sticks to the bed, I'll just take the corner of the razor blade and just push it under the edge of the piece, maybe a quarter of an inch or so, and then I just go like this and pop it up, and the piece will pop right off there. That's why it's not all gouged up. Um, you'll see a couple spots on here where I cleaned the bed with this. But uh, that's pretty much it. No hocus pocus. It's pretty simple. Um, this is a good, good example of how this works. Um, and we're going to take these into the next room. I've got a scale all set up, so bear with me. Okay, let's grab the scale. The scale that does not lie. Okay, so we're going to do this in kilograms. On. Mode. Kilograms. First to glass. Point nine two zero. Glass three hundred. Okay, three hundred glass, three hundred copper. Nothing up my sleeve. Okay, 315. Point three one five kg. Okay, and now the 500 glass. Everything's zeroed. 500 glass. Two point four seven five kilo. And the copper, we're going to stand it up so you can see this. Zero point eight six kilos. Zero point eight six kilos. Five hundred copper. Okay, yeah. we're. We're gonna take we're gonna take this into the other room and we're gonna make a graph so you can see this in graph form. Okay, you'll see the top one is the 500 the, or the S5, the bottom one is the 300 uh, CR10. 
Uh, the top one is 65% lighter, the bottom 66, very similar, uh, about a third in weight. Okay, guys, once again, thank you for coming into my shop. I really enjoyed our little talk. Um, really boils down to uh, this or this, going back and forth on your table, making fast moves back and forth. Um, it's pretty easy to see the benefits of this are um, pretty outstanding compared to this right here. Um, this versus plastic on top of it, which is basically an insulative um, surface. Uh, it's a pretty hard sell if somebody's convinced that they've got something and they've already paid for it and they're using it and they're happy with it. I'm not trying to sell you something you don't want, but I would say anybody with one of these should get one of these. It's, a, it's like a no-brainer. So guys, uh, once again, we stock these. I appreciate you coming by here. Um, we're here to service you. If you have any questions, please let me know, and we'll, uh, we'll get back to you right away, and I appreciate you coming here. Thanks.